ever since I've been a little kid, I've always loved the product. They tell me I've been drawing since I was three years old. I drew all the time growing up. In high school, I was always known as the artist and the weirdo. And when I got out of college, I sold women's shoes for a while. I thought that would help me meet girls, but it never worked out because when they're looking at shoes, I only see through you. So I had to make the art work out. Well, I had some paintings hanging in a friend of mine's restaurant. Um, a friend of mine from high school told me that he needed 10 quick paintings to cover the walls of his restaurant. And the restaurant was opening in a couple of days, so I had to do 10 quick paintings. So uh, Bob Steed from King of Spalding came into the restaurant to eat lunch one day and called me up and asked me if I'd do a portrait of Alexander King and Jack Spalding. And that's how my career got started. It's almost a joke that Warhol's coming down and then, then I go up. And I'm, it's hard not to laugh about it. Um, it's almost embarrassing because I feel like they, they have just picked the wrong guy sometimes, but I'm going with it anyway. <laughs> but it's a humbling experience and it's very exciting. So, but now I'm going to ask a million dollars a painting because I want to be just like Warhol. Coke is a microcosm of, of America as a whole. There's not, there's, there's not a lot of subjects that you can't throw Coke, a Coke logo on top of and have it fit. It's amazing how the, the details that they went through just to design this Coke bottle. Just, it's like a, the schematics for an airplane or something. But my daughter does these Coke bottles that get really they're skinny all the way down and they get real fat at the bottom. Well, let's go eat lunch and get a Coke. Yeah.